October 10th, 2018 is a day many remember like it was yesterday. A group of us were standing at the doors at one point watching the the wind and the rain and uh, at that point several trees broke and some power lines came down and they immediately put the hurricane shutters down at it. So at that point we were uh, we were in like a cocoon. It was um, eerily quiet actually. The Bay County Emergency Operations Center located in Southport just off of Highway 77 is miles inland but still felt the wrath of the storm just like everyone else. For those inside the EOC it wasn't a time to sulk in the damage. It was a time to get to work. There were 50, 75 people working 24 hours a day, and as the days progressed, um, at, I think at last count, we had 750 people a day working in the EOC. Records show that more than 3,000 people signed into the EOC in the days before the storm and the weeks to follow. The list included a variety of task forces and emergency responders all specialized in disaster relief. The dedication is very impressive to watch these people and come in and do what they do and they're they're all very skilled in their professions and uh, we were very lucky to have them there at the EOC right after the storm for sure. But even with help both locally and nationally, there were still items to improve on. Along with improving communications for the future, officials are also making smaller changes when it comes to handling relief supplies. We learned a lot of lessons about logistics. Um, if, a, if a truck showed up with 10 pallets of water, we needed to make sure that a forklift was on site to make sure those pallets could be unloaded correctly and timely. The EOC quickly turned from an information hub to a base camp, housing anywhere from 900 to 1,200 people at a time. Commission Chairman Philip Griffith spent most of the days following the storm at the EOC, and just from his time there, he noted a few things to improve on. We need to have redundancy in just about every utility that we own, whether it's water, power, or communications. We need to have redundancy in all those avenues so that the recovery, recovery effort can be a little faster. Chief Mark Bowen, who has been in the emergency services field for years and dealt with disaster response, says the outpour of help was incredible in the weeks to follow. But one thing would make the process even smoother. As many people as are willing and able have to be trained in the National Incident Management System. By definition, the National Incident Management System helps guide all levels of government as well as civilians to work together to respond and recover from disastrous incidents. And training for it is simple. All you have to do is, is Google FEMA Incident Command National Incident Management System. Anybody anywhere that has access to a computer and if they don't have access to a computer they can go to the Bay County Library and get on a computer. They can begin to take FEMA courses in incident command. Improving logistics and encouraging residents to take part in the action are just a few of the lessons learned from the storm. While there are things to improve on, officials within the county and EOC say they feel they handled the situation as best they could and plan to share what they've learned with the rest of the country. There will be other storms and there will be other communities and uh, hopefully it, it won't be as bad as what we face, but we'll be there to help them out along the way. Kelly Grossfield, News 13, Panhandle Strong.